Good morning. Uh, today I'm introducing uh, an auditory asset, uh, demystifying microsecond uh, precision keystroke tracking attacks on and constituent uh, keyboard inputs. Nowadays, there are lots of uh, audio-based uh, devices around, such as laptops, smart, uh, smart speaker. They are used in various scenarios, uh, such as uh, office, home, uh, and uh, radio conference. We know there is uh, increasing awareness about the leakage of the speech or conversation being uh, accidentally uh, recorded by these devices. But how about the privacy of the uh, information that is not uh, communicated via speech, such as uh, con uh, names, uh, password, uh, emails, and uh, users' keyboard inputs? In this paper, we will explore the leakage of the user's natural unconstrained uh, keyboard inputs uh, via authorial devices. To investigate the leakage, we need to address several challenges. First, uh, rather than alphabetic uh, keys or known sequences strictly following a dictionary or data set. We consider arbitrary keyboard inputs. Secondly, without excluding uh, non alphabetic keys or unknown sequences, we have to distinguish over 50 commonly used keys in a small area. However, unlike ca uh, cameras, auditorial devices are not designed to distinguish a lot of keys from a distance. Thirdly, because of interference uh, caused by imperfect factors, we need to consider the keystroke sound physics in processing the signals. Uh, Lost devices today, especially uh, smarter speakers, are equipped with uh, microarrays. Here is the uh, main input block of the keyboard, with, uh, which is a compact input area. Here is the microphone. So the distance uh, is the D between the, the, the D is the distance between the keyboard and the microphone. Data T uh, is the uh, distance uh, in time delay measurement of the two adjacent K. We can see as the distance uh, increases, the idea of data T will decrease uh, sharply, which means uh, distinguish the keys from their time delays will get much harder in longer distance. The required uh, uh, localization precision level is in the microsecond range, much lower than the hardware sampling interval of over 22 microseconds. This analysis uh, is uh, based on ideal sound uh, sources. Assuming the keystroke sounds are generated uh, only from the keycap center, so with the impact sound uh, source, the localization has to be more precise to avoid significant overlapping. To solve these changes, we use a signal analysis and a processing approach. By analyze, analyzing the internal sound pro, uh, components of a keystroke, we will show there are different components in keystroke. Not all of them can lead uh, to precise location of this case. Inspired by imperfect keystroke sound and marrying effects, we propose a multi-round keystroke location method with customized processing keys. Finally, we consider unconstrained keyboard input, which can include non-alphabetic keys and unknown sequences commonly exist in users' sensitive information. First, we would like to uh, make an observation. Here, the keystrokes recorded by two microphones. We can see the time delay here between the two signals. We can calculate the time delay with cross-correlation. We align the two signals based on the result. Ideally, if the calculated time delay is precise, we should observe the two signals perfectly aligned. However, a zooming in view shows a misalignment of 6.8 microseconds. So why are they, well, they are misalignments? We uh, decompose the signals with wavelet. We observe that the beginning parts of the signals can be aligned more 
closely because they follow very similar patterns. However, after beginning part, the alignment between the signals become more irregular. This irregular parts tend to have more noise, including artifacts caused by reverberation and uh, sounds generated from the keyboard bass. Our observation is that the signal in these parts could provide cross grained information, but uh, will mask the high precision. This kind of self-masking effect cannot be simply elimin eliminated because the components are mixed in a very short time during the keystroke. Directly filtering and uh, truncating the signal can lead to uh, information loss. Based on the observation, we propose a multi-round keystroke location method. In the initial round, I round, we pre precise and uh, interpret the signal to scale the unit uh, to below one microsecond. We then calculate the time delays with the cross correlation, we can see the large scale in the results. So in the next round, B round, we identify the outlier and uh, determine the range of the keyboard. We then calculate the signals based on the mean value of the measurement and calculate the time delay within the keyboard range. We can see that B round results still have errors in the microseconds or tens of microseconds. In the T round, we first align the signals based on the previous round results. We then select the transient parts of the signals. In this uh, figure, they can be selected by analyzing the energy distribution and using the park, the peak indices. We then calculate and adjust the, the localization measurement using the transient power signals. They have a higher signal to noise ratio and are general, generalized uh, susceptible to echoes and uh, the keyboard based vibration, which usually happen a little later during the keystroke. So here is our experiment setting. There is a vertical di distance of 4.5 meters between the microphone and the keyboard. Uh, here the localization result about uh, 600 keystrokes from a uh, Rezo keyboard using two pairs of microphones. The reason why the localization is very effective without a lot of uh, overlapping is that we have achieved a very low average standard deviation, about one or two microseconds. And we, re we can recover the case with a high accuracy using the localization data. So we conducted a user study. We observed different users type differently. And even the same user can type quite differently when the inputting different contents. Using two pair of microphones, we can localize the case joke and uh, recover the sensitive information from the input with the high accuracy. We collected more than 2,000 case jokes from each uh, user. On the left, we can see that the extra user input are in gray. And we, can, we are able to recover most information, including the, the date, the social security number, addresses, and uh, uh, GPS coordinates. Okay, on the right, we can see the recovered strong password and SSH credentials. We evaluated the attack at different distances, angles, and noise, uh, noise levels. Here we discuss the distance. With a tech distance of one meter, we achieve an average standard deviation of about 1.3 uh, microseconds. At uh, two meters, uh, we achieve an average uh, standard deviation close to one microsecond. On the right, we can see our approach effectively reduces the different uh, skills of errors. And uh, the range of the Time delay measurements has become quite small at uh, 
two meter attack distance. Security aware uh, individuals may try to recover the tap decay to avoid the surveillance. As we can see, a camera view in this scenario will be blocked. From the result, we can observe the localization information is not completely lost in the refracted uh, historical sounds. With accuracy lower than line of uh, sight scenario, the attack can still correctly identify most of the key in less than three attempts. An adversary, uh, an adversary can put a laptop on the table next to the victim. The microphones are on the screen. Uh, on the screen side of the adversary's laptop. Usually, it can be hard for the victim to notice the threats because there is no camera or sensors on the back of the adversary's laptop. We observe there are larger localization errors due to the non set uh, transmission of keystroke uh, sounds, but a lot of uh, these errors can be effectively reduced with our approach. Okay, overall, uh, our results indicate uh, without uh, wearing sensors, attacks using limited resolution audio devices can reveal and can screen the keyboard in truth uh, with a fairly sharp and uh, bendable uh, auditory or eyesight. Further, we discover uh, the sound components and the underlying you know, physics study allows extracting more uh, target and uh, accurate information in said channel attacks on key strokes. So uh, finally, uh, we believe our codes and the, the data site uh, will be beneficial for the education and the research in the future. We have released our code and the, the data set on GitHub. So welcome to use them. Thank you.